Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. Um, as part of uh, um, HDP Certified Administrator, in this uh, video we will try to provision the EC2 instances so that we can take care of the installation. Okay, So we will try to get uh, six instances to begin with and three of them will be categorized as masters and three of them will be categorized as slaves, we will understand later. But for now, let's focus on uh, provisioning the instances. So click on EC2 and uh, then click on uh, launch instance. Before that, you might have to create key pairs uh, uh, and uh, uh, create security group uh, to open up all, all the ports or you can do it later also. Uh, we will uh, first provision the instances and we will try to open up the necessary ports as and when uh, we move forward as per the documentation of Hortonworks. Okay? And uh, uh, here uh, as I have already covered in my uh, other playlist which talks about uh, Hortonworks, uh, sorry AWS in detail. Yeah, this is the one. So here uh, Hadoop administration Hortonworks HDP 2.3.0 AWS. You can actually see sign uh, everything related to AWS uh, to to uh, understand the pricing and several aspects. So once you go through these videos, if you are not familiar with AWS, you can come here. And uh, in AWS, there is a concept called AMI, which stands for Amazon Machine Image. So AMI consists uh, consists of the OS. So once you choose the AMI, you have to choose the um, uh, instance configuration. And once you choose instance configuration, uh, the the OS which you, which you have chosen um, as part of AMI will be applied on those uh, uh, instances and uh, then you will you will get the uh, EC2 server. So uh, bottom line is uh, the AMI is nothing but a template which contains operating system and uh, EC2 instances are the actual servers and once we complete this process the EC2 instances will have the uh, software which we have chosen as part of the AMI. So here you have to go to AWS marketplace and search for Red Hat, uh, sorry, yeah we will choose for Red Hat, we will search for Red Hat. And here there is a, a Red Hat uh, 6, which is 6.5 uh, GA, which stands for General Available. Uh, you can click on Select. Don't tempt to use free tier. Free tier is not good enough. We have to have pretty powerful servers. Uh, in my case, I am choosing um, uh, C3.x large. Okay, if you want, you can upgrade it later. Um, by choosing uh, uh, much powerful servers but to begin with this is this is more than enough and then click on configure instance details we will be using VPC and uh, make sure you auto assign public IP don't uh, disable it okay just use subnet setting enable so you will get public IPs which you can actually uh, access um, uh, uh, and it, this is not charged but this public IPs will change uh, but make sure you enable um, uh, uh, this auto assign public IP uh, by use sub subnet setting you will understand why we are enabling it as part of the latter videos okay and then click on add storage and here get at least 50 storage uh, 50 GB and uh, I miss one thing here number of instances should be 6 because we are trying to set up on a 6 node cluster and then add storage and each one of them I want to have 50 GB storage and then click on tag instance and make sure you give an appropriate name in this case I want to set up HDP 2.3 so I am giving HDP 2.3 uh, and I will uh, each and every instance will have that name but I will uh, try to uh, suffix with more relevant letter, more relevant uh, uh, text letter which represents a particular uh, uh, purpose of the particular instance. 
okay for now just don't worry if you don't understand completely make sure the name uh, you have some uh, 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 some uh, some string which which makes sense later if you want to set up multiple things on aws and then configure security group uh, here i would like to open up all the ports for now uh, and then we can uh, disable those things later i want to open up all tcp from anywhere and also another rule all icmp anywhere icmp is to ping so unless you choose uh, to ping you will not be able to uh, ping the servers and security group name i want to give hdp okay hdp 23 and then uh, you can click on review and launch and click on launch you can uh, actually look uh, look for the more details so we are trying to get 50 gp on each of them and then tag is hdp 23 and click on launch so here you can either choose an existing pair or create a new pair. I am creating a new pair and I am giving name as HTTP 23 and uh, uh, click on download key pair which will save onto your uh, downloads directory. You need to use this letter to connect to the instances and then click on launch instance. It will take a while uh, to uh, to uh, okay here uh, i cannot get six i i think aws by default gives only five so i have to use this link to get the more instances i think this is the restriction which which uh, might have which they might have added recently okay So to raise the request, you need to choose the appropriate region. I am choosing the cluster on North, Northern Virginia. So I have to use uh, the region as uh, Northern Virginia. Okay. And then uh, primary instance type is, uh, I will uh, mostly use c3.xlarge. So I'm requesting for c3.xlarge. And then a new limit value I want to give 15 for my purpose. For you, you just limit it to 6 so that you don't get any surprises for the uh, cost. Use case description. I need the cluster. I need uh, uh, additional EC2 instances to execute POCs by setting up Hadoop clusters. Okay, support uh, uh, language English, contact method web, and uh, then click on submit. So it it might take time. So we will. Um, what what i will do is i will stop recording this video and we will continue as part of the next video once we get the additional limit okay uh, so uh, let's continue the flow rather than uh, again reshooting from the scratch uh, so we have tried to provision six instances and we um, we ran into an issue because of the aws limit and we have submitted the request once we get the response saying that it is uh, uh, increased then we uh, i will record another video to set up the six node cluster and uh, there will be some redundancy but that is fine I, uh, that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback please use the comment section of the video if you uh, want to discuss further about certifications please join my linkedin group called itversity certifications 
and uh, uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye